Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. In previous sessions, we discussed about the different domains and uh, the differences between embedded non OS developer and embedded OS developer, and what are the skill set and their packages and job roles. So, all these points you discussed in the previous session. Now, whenever you are entering into microprocessors and microcontrollers, the first and foremost concept is number system. So, basically, you may heard this number system from your academics like so there are four different number systems you will find to represent a value basically number system which is required to represent a value or data or input and output in the system right so this number system it is very clear the first number system uh, which is binary which which will have only zeros and ones and the second number system which is octal so which will provide 0 to 7 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and third number system is decimal system which is 0 to 9 and the final hexadecimal number system so which which will 0 to f means 0 to 9 and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these which are represented with their respective base numbers binary which is number base number is represented with 2 and octal number system is represented with 8 and decimal number system is represented with 10 and hexadecimal number system is represented with 16. So this is this is how your number system but the importance of learning this number system is very clear. So as a microprocessor programmer or as a microcontroller programmer or if you are working on the high level computing systems any processor based product or controller based product. So you need to understand these number conversions the reason very clear always user talks any value or any number in the standard decimal number system so decimal number system means the numbers whatever you are using from 0 to 9 but the system understands information in a different format which is binary so understand and execution so maybe your processor controllers never allows your direct input from sensor or keypad or keyboard so again the output devices may be displays or audio videos any any unit but internally every computation or every processing which happens in binary format so remember the your inputs need some conversion knowledge like your input is converted to binary and for your operations whatever operations which is done by your processor or controller and again your information is saved in memory which is again a different number system which is hexadecimal so hexadecimal number system and again the output device the user cannot understand your binaries cannot understand your octal numbers user cannot understand your hexadecimal numbers so again you do you need to convert your output value into decimal format this is the only reason you should understand the number conversions from one format to another format so why you need decimal to binary binary to octal octal to hexadecimal hexadecimal to decimal again see these are all operation purpose so you are, you are not learning in a general way so the number conversion knowledge is important for system developers or system programmers because your input decimal remember and processing format is binary and storage format is hexadecimal and again user is expecting outputs in decimal format this is the only reason you are learning this conversions from decimal to binary, binary to decimal or hexadecimal to decimal all these conversions. Okay. Now I am telling the standard procedure like how to convert decimal to any. So because always user format is decimal here and device format is binary and device storage format is hexa and again output format is decimal. So general conversion is decimal to any format which means if you are expecting decimal to hexa or decimal to binary or decimal to octal so you need to follow the standard method dividing your given base number with the required base so whatever the decimal number they are giving us just take the number and whatever the base you are expecting suppose you are expecting with in hexadecimal format just divide your given decimal number with 16 and write down the remainders like this so I am just taking one example here 195 is my decimal number and looking for hexadecimal. So what you need to do here I am just dividing my 195 with 16. So how many times it is first 16 ones are 16 remainder 3 
and 35, 16 to the 32 remainder is 3. And C, your 12 is not divided with 0, 16. So, I will make it take it 0 here and 12 is a remainder. So, 12 means in hexadecimal C. So, I am writing my hexadecimal number C3 with 16. This is how you need to convert. Suppose you are looking or you are expecting the same decimal number into octal. So, what you need to do here? Just take your 195 and take your octal base 8. So, for octal base 8, what you need to do here? So, 8, how many times which, which divides with 19? Like 8 twos are 16, remainder is 3 again and 35, 8 fours are 32 and remainder 3. But here, your 24 is divisible with 8. So, I am taking 8 threes are 24, remainder 0. So, 303 is the octal equivalent. So, this is how you have to follow your conversions from decimal to any format. From decimal to any format, the conversion process is very clear. Divide your given de de decimal number with required base and write down the remainders from bottom to top. This is how your conversion. Suppose, after your operations and all, like generally you need to know how to convert from any format to decimal. Further, there are two points you need to understand. Just multiply the powers of given format number with powers okay, and go from right to left and sum the total value. Like I am taking one hexadecimal number here which is 8A9, the given number is in hexa expecting in decimal, decimal equivalent. So, what you need to do and take the powers. So, take from left to right. So, take your 9 first. The first digit with 16 power 0 plus second number with 16 power 1 plus third number into 16 power 2. So, the total value is 2217 which is the required base. Suppose, if your the number is given in binary. So, you will take it some double 1 or triple 1. So, take it 2 power 1 into 2 power 0, 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2. So, whatever the sum, total sum you are getting, that should be the decimal equivalent. So, why I am talking about only these two conversions very important from decimal to any format, any to decimal, decimal, which is very clear. Always user is expecting maybe input from input to another format and another format to output. So, this, this, is, this is why you should understand decimal to any and any to decimal very clearly. Then what about the in between number conversions like looking for hexadecimal into binary or octal to hexadecimal. So, for that you can follow these two standard tables. One is BCD table which is binary coded decimal and then octal table. So, BCD table will applicable for only hexadecimal number system remember do not apply this BCD table for any other format members. So, you need to follow this BCD table very clearly for only hexadecimal numbers. And this is the powers of 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. And write from 0, 0 means 4 zeros and whatever the sums of this binary highlights. So, you have to get this number. Suppose for 2, only 2 is highlighted here which is 1 and remaining all are zeros. 3 means 2 and 1 which is 2 plus 1 you will get 3 and 4 means only 4 binary digit is highlighted here and remaining all are zeros. 5 means 4 and 1, 6 means 4 and 2, 7 means 4, 2, 1, 8 means only 8 binary is highlighted here and you have to follow up to 15. So, for 15 you will get all 1s. Any, any binary number or any hexadecimal to binary or octal to, bin octal to hexadecimal so, you have to follow this table and remember this octal table also, but octal table deals with 3 digits and hexadecimal deals with 4 digits, remember. And any, any conversion you are expecting, I just took some ECE is my hexadecimal number and expecting in octal. So, what way I am just converting here for E, whatever my 4 digits I am writing here, triple one zero, and then for C, double one double zero, and again E means triple one zero but I am just separating three three digits and write down according to this octal table. So, for three digits whatever the number I got here so that I am making seven three one six I will get for ECE hexadecimal ok. So, otherwise you if you have 
clarity on this try to convert your ec into decimal first and decimal to octal you can follow that also okay there is a second alternate method you can follow for conversions and then suppose expecting octal into hexadecimal so what you need to do first write down for 7 triple 1 and 3 means 0 double 1 and 1 means 0 0 1 now make it 4 4 digits group and write down the equivalent number of from bcd table so according to these two tables you will get the respective number from hexadecimal to octal or octal to hexadecimal the overall importance of number system is very clear so you should know the processing format of your input and storage format of your data and input format and output format this is how you should understand this number system very clearly this will help like while processing what what is the way of your data like whenever you are operating some logical operations on your inputs if you are expecting only particular bit one or zero then you should know what is bcd what is octal what is binary what is decimal what is hexadecimal all this so this is how your system programmer is very clear aware of this four different number systems from your logical operations so here we are aerotech solutions giving different uh, different courses training programs including embedded embedded system embedded iot and embedded automotive so if you are interested please follow us and subscribe our channel for more videos on this technical sessions we are continuously providing all technical sessions on different concepts like microcontrollers c language linux and all all fundamentals from embedded domain and even you are looking to upgrade on different courses so please contact us for for uh, different courses in our organization thanks thanks for watching